So this is Yeller. He's uh, he's learning to be in the bridle. He's getting put in the bridle. He's six. He's <clears throat> been a show horse quite a little bit, and uh, so I'm I'm helping him learn to be in the bridle. He's pretty darn green in it. And what I'm going to talk about is the two rein and the different ways that I like to use it. Um, a lot of people use the two rein, and I think a lot of people don't understand how it works uh, because of the. <laughs> I think that because of the way I see him using it. So let me just kind of walk you through what I did yesterday on this horse. Um, yesterday I had a little day work to do. We sorted a whole bunch of cattle, and it was going to be long, fast day and uh, lots of cattle to sort and kind of a gunsel crew and I'm the only gunsel he's used to so so we uh, we kind of planned our attack that way and so starting out I had my reins split all the way like this my two rein and my regular reins and my Romel reins I had them split like this and, and rode him like this to start out with and first of all this horse is kind of just kind of the type of horse that wants to look around a lot uh not like looking spook but he's just kind of a looking around horse doesn't want to just travel out like a bridal horse thinking first thing in the morning and so i rode him like that and when he'd get to looking around i'd kind of just rattle him around a little bit um you'll notice i don't have any chains on here today i had chains on yesterday and uh through all the sorting he made a few big moves and kind of whacked himself with those chains got himself a little trigger shy so i'm part of what i'm going to do today also is is see if i can take some of that away so anyway I started like that with them with them split all the way and that way I can really help him as he's turning you see this is just damn near squall ran in here and I've got more tension with my hack more reins than I do with my bridle reins So I can help him turn. So we started out the day that way, and then as we're the beginning of the work we were doing, I kept him that way. So he was really dependent on the uh, on the hackmore, and less so on the bridle. As the day kind of went by, I kind of uh, went went like this, the way most people ride it, to where he was getting to use the bridle quite a bit more, but he still had the Still had the hack more there to support him. <clears throat> then as the day kind of went by a little longer, we uh, and he got he was getting real sharp and things were working really good. I took away a lot of that hack more rain and focused more on on just the bridle whenever I could. Um, as the day went on a little farther, he got kind of tired. I got kind of mad because we had some rough cattle that got him a little scared. And so at one point. I have my button adjusted here to where to where those ride really good. At one point, I dropped that, put my Rommel up under my legs, and I just went riding him just like a hackamore horse. He was tired. I was mad. I didn't want to pull on him. He didn't want to be pulled on. So we went back to riding him just like a regular old, the way he'd been ridden in a hackamore. We got through that little deal, got to where things were. Back to being quiet. He'd kind of caught his air. And so then I went back to back to riding them split for a little while. And then by the time the day was over and I was trotting home, I had him ride about a half and half again. Uh, where he, he had some support from the hackamore but was riding off the bridle quite a little bit. They say, you know those old timers, they'd say, um, even in the like in the five eight stage, they they say, well they'll ask, they'll when do you move down to a half inch? Well they'll ask for it. Well what do you mean they ask for it? Well when they start rooting on it or barring on it, those guys would say that means they're asking for a, a smaller one. And then the same with with the two rein. Well when do you start using the bridle? Oh when they ask for it. And, and the same way of asking. What those guys didn't really mention, at least none of the ones I talked to, uh, they didn't mention that they may they may ask for it five or six times in a day. Or they may ask for it today, and so you, you change them, and uh, tomorrow they may need to may need to be back uh, out of that half inch back into the five eighths, or or in this case less bridle and back to to way more hackamore. Um, so throughout the day, there were several times where 
where he'd kind of bear on that on that hackmore a little bit and so i'd say okay you're asking for the bridle and then i'd go ahead and ride him in that bridle and let him let him kind of bump into it a few times pretty quick he's asking for the hackmore back so okay we go back to the hackmore at some point or another it's not going to be asking three or four times a day at some point or another he's going to be sure enough asking asking for more bridle and so then i'll go to riding him more bridle less rain uh less hack more and then eventually i'll put my hack more reins behind my bridle reins and i'll be riding him all bridle and this hack more will only be here if if stuff gets really wild or i decide i want to rope a bear or something then i can go back to that like so but those are those are some of the different ways that people don't use don't use these um, two two rain outfits they they all just say well that's that's the next stage i done with the half inch and so now we go to two rain and so then they just put the two together and just ride them around well you're really not you're, you're really not getting all out of the tool that you can doing it that way uh, the, this thing's really versatile and you can help your horse a lot but if if you're not adjusting it all the time and readjusting it and adjusting your hack more and, and using these reins differently why what you do you may as well just ride the pot liquor in the bridle and and just kind of bump them into the bridle however you can and i mean it can be done there's a lot of horses been put into the bridle without the two rein um shoot the world's greatest horseman that's going on right now and uh vast majority of those horses didn't go through the two rein stage but to me it's silly to it's a silly thing to to not do because this it's such a good tool and you can help your horse with it so much and so that's that's that that's all i wanted to talk about was a guy can split those reins in a variety of different ways and use them in a variety of different ways to get different things done and uh, you just gotta you just gotta get on them and start trying start trying things out i guess the other thing I had to say, and, and I was thinking about this yesterday, is that, um, you know, we all we all say, well, yeah, you know, you gotta you gotta make several bridle horses before you make a really good one, you know, ten of them, so I say. And uh, a lot of people have white collar jobs and and do this bridle horse stuff as a hobby, and and think to themselves, well, I'm not gonna ever make ten bridle horses in my life. I'm gonna make two, maybe. And so I, I don't want to mess up. I want them to be as good as I can. And, and that's all true, but that's, you can really, really make some big mistakes that way, trying to babysit them too much and not letting them be responsible. And so I think that it's better to, uh, to just go to work and start figuring stuff out. And, and yeah, you may, not make, you may not make as good a bridle horse as somebody that's made 25 of them, but you're not going to anyway. And... Uh, and on top of that, the, your horse is going to be better in here if you let him take responsibility sometimes and, and learn from some of his own mistakes, learn from some of your mistakes, um, and just go with it. So being too careful, I think, is more dangerous than not being careful enough in these situations um, as far as your horse is concerned. And, and the truth is, you know, if you ended up pulling on that bridle a little bit too much yesterday, well, you can spend all day today or you know 15 20 minutes today softening that horse back up and it, it'll come back and you can you can get them soft again uh yeah it's better never to get them hard but but you're gonna it happens so that's all she wrote